Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today we're going to take this game with your time and bandwidth. Today's game is Power Wash Simulator. Get ready for the first FPS, first person sprayer. A volcano has erupted and covered everything in soot. As the only person with the power washer, apparently, you get to clean up the streets. Power Wash Simulator is currently on Xbox and PC, and it does feature Series S and X upgrades if you have that console. It is also currently available on Xbox Game Pass for all of the above. And the game took me 25 hours to beat the main story in co-op, but there's definitely more that you can play beyond that amount of time. So what exactly is Power Wash or Warsh if you're from the Midwest simulator? Well, it's all in the name. You have a power washer, stuff is dirty, and you gotta get mad cash spraying it down. The game has a handful of modes, the main one being career, where you'll be going through a set number of locations to earn stars and cash, which can then be used to unlock new stages as well as buy better washers and tools. Each stage is a big, dirty object that you need to clean, and said object is actually broken down into smaller segments. Washing each small segment to around 95% marks it is done, paying you and finishing the rest of the cleaning, thankfully. Various objects are of different material and have varying levels of dirtiness that require you to adapt accordingly. For example, basic dust easily washes off with lower pressure, but things like rust require either metal cleaner or a high-powered sandblaster style of cleaner to strip it down. As locations grow in complexity and particularly height, you'll be given ladders, scaffolding, and be able to purchase longer range extensions in order to accomplish more difficult tasks. Cash can also be spent on better washers, which is always worth it, as well as a variety of different nozzles to use. Using which which nozzle to use when is the core strategy of the game, as well as being able to identify where that last little secret bit of dirt is to complete an object. You thankfully are playing as Geralt from the Witcher series and thus have Witcher senses, except in this case they only apply to dirt. Tapping a button makes dirt glow and lets you easily find what you've missed. Additional modes include free play, where you can replay any mission you've beaten in career, and some special stages which are like cleaning the Mars rover, as well as challenge stages which involve cleaning an object with certain time or a limited amount of water. Everything but the challenge stages can be played in co-op, the only thing of note really is that career only supports two players while the others support more. It's also worth mentioning this game is way more fun in co-op as you can split the work and your assistant still gets paid for helping. So all in all, this is a first person cleaning game with a simple but not too simple gameplay paired with extreme satisfaction of taking something dirty and making it sparkle. So what do I like about Power Wash Simulator? Well, it's just so freaking satisfying guys. It's like actual power washing, except I don't have to hook all the crap up and cleaning stuff off just feels absolutely incredible. Additionally, this game does have a great variety of maps, locations, and it get weirder and weirder as you progress keeping things interesting. I honestly cannot wait for this game to get Steam Workshop. And lastly, this game is just incredibly addicting and it's a great game to just chill out to, especially in co-op, which is where it really shines. When it comes to the bad, getting that last bit of dirt off something can be frustrating, even with the Witcher dirt senses, not being able to find that last bit is very obnoxious. Additionally, the game is really buggy on console, Xbox, prone to crashes, co-op partners dropping, and more. Play it on PC if you can. And lastly, this is just ultimately a game about washing stuff. It's calming and satisfying, but not exactly super exciting. Exciting. So if that isn't your thing, it's not going to resonate. As you know, I make games here on a three-point scale. Must play, maybe consider, don't bother. Yeah, Power Washing Simulator is absolutely a must play. It may seem stupid, but this game is so unbelievably satisfying, especially playing co-op with a friend or partner. While it is just cleaning dirt off stuff, each area being a bit of a puzzle and the dopamine hit when things flash complete, it's just... Oh, it's so good. Paired with some great maps, solid controls, and a really engaging upgrade system, you really should be out there washing. Or washing. I'm trying to be accommodating on this channel. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for washing. <laughs> what do you think of Power Wash Simulator? Have you played it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you have a real power washer? I do, and I'd use it less than the one in this game. My deck is a nightmare, and it's going to remain that way. Let me know in the comments, but regardless, make sure you go out there and enjoy Power Wash Simulator.